Good evening. The 30 day legislative session focused on the budget and public safety finished up yesterday, but one of the roughly 20 bills the governor backed this session, only eight of them made it to her desk. So what happened to the rest of them? News 13's Natalie Wattis analyzed where exactly these bills died in the roundhouse. We made great headway and targeted legislation to make a real difference in the life of people today. One of the key priorities of this legislative session was curbing crime and making New Mexicans safer. I wanted this to be about public safety. From the start, the governor issued her public safety legislative agenda, championing roughly 20 bills. But of those, only four crime bills actually made it to her desk. Both houses are well aware that I'm frustrated that not enough or certainly more public safety measures got up. Those that passed include automatically holding repeat offenders in jail, instituting a waiting period for gun buys, increasing second degree and attempted murder penalties, and banning firearms from polling places. Four bills dealing with recruitment and retention of first responders also made it. The stuff I really uh, think New Mexicans care about, uh, some things got done, some things didn't. But what about those bills that didn't make it? We found more than a dozen that sprang from the governor's original list of public safety priorities. Of those, five made it to the House floor, but were never discussed there, including raising the age to buy guns and banning assault weapons. So we asked the Speaker of the House why. Um, our job here is not to just pass bills and see what sticks. Our job here is to be smart about what we pass and be targeted about what we pass. A handful of bills passed one committee only to never be taken up in the next committee, including changes to the Racketeering Act and banning guns in parks and playgrounds. Others never made it out of their first committee, including changes to the burglary statute and an attempt to curb panhandling. I want to just say to New Mexicans, uh, I don't think it's safe out there. And I don't think that they think it's safe out there because it plays out horrifically every single day. Natalie Wattis, KRQE News 13. Spokesperson for the governor's office told News 13 the governor is, quote, seriously considering calling a special session, but still no word on when that could be. We also reached out to the Speaker of the House to find out his reaction to this news. We're waiting to hear back.